Hi, I'm Mariam, makeup artist for ZA. So now I'm going to start the framing stage. I'm going to start by framing my model's nose using the ZA Perfect Fit two-way foundation. Now the only difference is I'm using a slightly darker shade. Previously I used the OC10 and now I'm going to be using the OC30. Now the reason behind this is we want to create a little bit of shadowing and I'm going to use uh, just a regular eyeshadow brush instead of the sponge. Take a little bit off the product and remove any excess onto the side of your hand and just starting from the bridge of the nose where it curves with the eyebrow, we're going to very lightly do a smooth stroke right to the tip of the nose. And then we're going to repeat that onto the right hand side. Now you want to keep this line as straight as possible, but you also want it to be as blended as possible because there's nothing worse than being able to see where the shading has happened. The last area of the nose is just where the tip is and in a straight line all the way down. And don't forget to go over the nostrils as well. Now the next stage is going to be framing the eyebrows. I've chosen the Everbrow eyebrow pencil in shade number one, which is just a neutral brown. Now these are retractable eyebrow pencils, which means that you never have to sharpen. So where the eyebrow needs to start is from the corner of the nose where the nostril is in a straight line with the corner of the eye. Where it needs to end is again using the corner of the nose in a straight line with the outside corner of the eye. Now once you've done that, you just follow the natural hairline with short but steady strokes to draw in the eyebrow. Now, if you have a full eyebrow, then it's just a matter of, of just making it a bit more defined. And if you have a, a thinner eyebrow, then you can make it as thick or as thin as you want it to be. Now, usually to know where the arch is, you just see where the highest hairline is. Usually that comes again in a straight line with the outer corner of the iris of the eye, that's the colored bit and that goes into a straight line with the corner of the nose. And again, using short strokes, you just color that area in. Now the benefit of using an eyebrow pencil as opposed to an eyeliner or an eyeshadow on your eyebrows is that they're normally designed to be a little bit more dry, which means that you can avoid smudging. Now once you've finished coloring in the eyebrow, you can use the other side of the eyebrow pencil, which is uh, a brush just to blend the color in with the natural um, hair. Now that we've completed the framing of the eyebrows, we're gonna move on to framing the face. And today I'm going to use the ZA Blush Vibrante, uh, which is our blusher in B3 shades. Now using a normal blusher brush, very lightly pick up the color and we're just gonna go around the contour of the face very lightly in, in feathery movements and apply that all around the contour of the face. Now what this does is it helps to again bring attention to the center of the face and away from the sides of the face. If you have a rounder face shape, this is a fantastic way of getting more definition for your jawline and for the forehead. Now you can take this down the neck as well in just a V line, which means from the ear down to the collarbone, and then from the ear to the collarbone on the other side as well. Now, depending on the look that you're trying to create will determine how your blusher will go on. For a natural day look, the blusher should ideally only go on around the apple of the cheek. And for a more sophisticated look, you'd want to have a more severe application of the blusher towards the um, side of the ear. So today we're just going to apply where the apple of the cheeks are. And the best way to find where they are is just to smile. And that just helps to bring the apple of the cheek out a little bit. Now when you're applying blusher, less is more. And if you feel like you need uh, a more intense color, just reapply. To blend the blusher in, just move the brush in an eight shape and that helps it blend in with the foundation color. 
And that's the framing stage complete.